Welcome to the TAF Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by TAF Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the TAF Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. This decade is the decade of African independence. Forward then to independence, to independence now. Tomorrow, the United States of Africa. In 1965, the Union Jack was lowered and the Gambian flag, which is red, white, blue, white, green, was raised. And that was when Gambia got its independence from the British. And as you can see today, I'm wearing the Gambian flag. So the red color stands for the sun, and the white color stands for the peace and unity. The blue color stands for our River Gambia, and the green color stands for agriculture. Thank you. I was only nine years old, and remember being held by the hand by my sisters, my elder sisters, and we were walking down the street. This street was called Clifton Road. Clifton Road is now called Independence Drive. 58 years later, we have all grown up and Gambia is celebrating 58 years of independence. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to wish every Gambian and non-Gambian a prosperous and happy 58th independence anniversary. Independent day, am ni ñi dañu rang fiñ ko jëndé bénn soxla la jabot ñi daan am jëndal sen doomi uniforme rang ci ñaaw kati jigen ñi dañ daan ñew goor ñi dañ daan ñu légui la ñaaw kati jigen ñu bari ñewat ba jigen ñi dañ daan ñew ci sen loxo goor ñi ñew ci machine loxo jigen ñi ñew machine loxo goor ñi ñew ci machine pedal su ko défé nak suñ défé loolu ba paré bañ indépendant jotna ku ci nek bu su bu ñeelek la independent ya ngay dem yobu sa do fu mo leto wala fu mo srejé le takati dañ ci daan gi sen bopa na da nga jita sa ñebo ñew tok ñu map bu ba sax map mo gëna bari ñu map ko même rafet di school bu ne am nga sa uniforme di school bu ne am nga sa style boy defal sa bopa le ta boy leto wala bu boy takati sa bopa su ko defé nga préparé loolu sa njabot so ko préparé lé xalé bi mom du né law mom mom da fa xol ba borset da élég la indépendant mom bégé gumna contane dañ ko bégé bé mbédam mi nga dajé ñom ñuy fa sax di nga gis xalé ñu ngé contane kawas ku ko jaay di nga am xaaliss gayn so jital ku ko jaay di nga am xaaliss bu ko mëna ñi jaay uniforme diw ñu defar xalé bi bekkar bo pa bi nes nesi dew la be sen sen yaay am sen jot nak ni far len bañ contane nan lolu rek la xalé daan beggé suko defé suñ len solalé ñetti fan nak ñu nga dem de practice 
Sunday may be by a bee. Did my when I be tanga swing per any white and yibi. So could I fear not why why a mona do live on a hamlet, a man. Ninga great crossa. Dafa am sent to last Mohammed and Yaran. Now legal linga is halay them. Home, you end you. Legal linga halay buganan, you doff so well. You yip chicat and yell. Bola conang ni jaileka. Then you am sent walla. Nadep ni jefar punket and get punket. Ni jefar ginger and get the far. Lun come if I am wrecked the forgena yoku. Never wrecked the halay can do heave. So buge heave, Raxen Yen and Sadu New Gita send on. So I may take it eight chico, told the Satan, the buy her send your board. So could have a new dam doing the match by a winner. Faker Tiche in your mid. La Hale pare pare, Tiche young a pare pare benen board. No mid to bar kala masala, the same uniform. The school bunekana. Send Master Igitu, Tiche topachi, Tiche buneka amgasa uniform boy son. Send Asobila in your death, you know. Teacher, is school B, uniform B lab. Is school B, uniform B lab. Is school B, uniform B lab. Lol, I'm not happy. So, I'm more than better. I'm happy. You be the sangam guy, you be. Wow, more than better. I'm happy. Is school sangam la. So, go if you need to get any touch, you. So, go if you need to touch, you know, no, hello, image. Send teacher, get talent. Teacher, get them. The fact I'm not in the left. That the teacher, then I'm on a forum. Sun dandoh de maj bulan sini dengan kontan. Tiada erak amna nyun dandoh eh. Nyun dan maj eh, dah amna sun doh erak. Nyun dah nyun kontan. Sun doh eh, hal eh top aje lulu. Suka deh eh nyun maj school bune. Gade f safasong. Kune amga safai me bapa. Safoli bapa, saliti bapa. Ag 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 sa hal eh enga anal ag nak hal eh nyun maj eh. Nyun le nyun doh eh endo kunak suba bengon. Naik bertangga lol. Hey Anita, you know when I come here, I I remember 58 years ago, right up right opposite us here, and this is where the plaque was with the name of this drive called Independence Drive. But before it was called Clifton Road. And right where this arch is, there was a, a palm tree, palm leaves arch that was erected with a lot of lights. And it was all lit up at night. And these were with all the small light bulbs, huh? the, the house light bulbs that you would have. Actually, I think the debate at the time was whether Gambia as a state at the time was viable enough, was big enough to be a state. I think if I remember well, the population was what, less than 400,000 people. That's right. So there was a lot of argument that Gambia shouldn't be given independence. But it was a referendum that was held, and um, the US had it that we should be independent. So independence was granted in 1965. And at midnight, one of the two, you know, was here to hand over independence to Sadao the Karibah Jawara, who was then, I think, the premier, or then he became the prime minister. A lot of funfair, a lot of huge expectations. So 58 years later, definitely, there's no doubt that Gambia is independent and we can survive as a state. Yes, there's a lot more to do, but every country has its own challenges and opportunities. And as a country, I think we can survive. And for me, at my age now, as the saying is, I'm optimistic, and that is why I say, Gambia Dafa Dem Biakwe. We have to put all our efforts together to prove to the world that as a country we can survive and we can make a difference. So happy 58th independence anniversary to all. Lige Jotna Gambia Amna Bopam Bopam Liga jot na Gambia amna bopam bopam Liga jot na Gambia amna bopam Liga jot na Gambia amna bopam bopam Liga jot na Gambia amna bopam bopam 
Ligue jodna gambia amna bopam. Ligue sere ugadu sabo pa chegen. Chegen, imam sere ugadu sabo pa chegen. Chegen, mom sere ugadu sabo pa chegen. Lulu mom, mom khalei bobo la indan maje. Luko de fe, polisi, amga na kleke lek lu pase. Ma so i maktam, yu bari nang kofate. Il n'y a pas de problème, mais il n'y a pas de problème. Mais il n'y a pas de problème. 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 Jaya kati kawa si bek, jaya kati leka yi bek. Sunja mena ben gwon, ben ninyi dem sen keri anj ba pare. Na kala, na solna turup gambia. Amga lulu mom, fim neka ni amatut. Waya na solna turup jamano bubu. Nda nani yu maki afa neko. Nga nani yu maki nga amche sose, amche olof, amche pul, amche sirir, bopa khet. Sarah Khulé, Khed, si elle est là, elle est là. Elle est là, elle est là, elle est là, elle est là. Parce qu'elle est là, elle est là, elle est là. Personne ne peut pas le faire. Quand on est là, on est là. So I'm here in Medieval Mall. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Okay. Um, you tell them who you are. Okay. I'm Awa Israel uh, Jalo, um, and I am the owner of. Uh, well, we're rebranding our shop, but uh, right now it's called the uh, African Pride Directory and Business Center. But we'll talk about the changes real soon. Good. So this is in Medieval Mall, but I did say, I saw you in the week and I thought, I'm going to grab you because you've got an amazing story. Again, you moved to Gambia, what, two years ago? In two years and two months. And yeah. this is somebody who, you know, never heard of Gambia. Yeah. Um, you were in Senegal yeah. and this brought you to Gambia. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really important because we know there's a lot of people out there who don't really get to know about Gambia. We're a very mm -hmm. small country. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating 58 years of independence. Yeah. You know, we're called the Smiling Coast, but I want to hear from you. If you had to talk about Gambia and put us in three words, what would you say draws you to Gambia or Gambians? What do you love about Gambia? Okay, it's the, it's the peace and the calmness you get and um, the people, uh, definitely. And I forgot to say earlier, but the ocean. <laughs> I forgot that. Yeah. I, I can't believe I didn't uh, say that. But it's just, uh, it's just uh, easy. If you're talking about uh, relocating anywhere, me and my husband, we lived in uh, Asia uh, for a while, and um, if so, we understood repatriation. And um, if there's any place to repatriate, uh, to make you know things easier and the transition easier, I think Gambia is it uh, in regards to the welcoming, the, the people really want to help you. You know, it's English speaking and financially, it is one of the cheaper African countries uh, from my understanding. I, I know for, for certain yeah. Senegal, because yeah. I've been to Senegal. But just, uh, we had land in, in uh, Ghana. Mm -hmm. We ended up selling our land in Ghana because we just, it was love at first sight when we came to Gambia. That's amazing. Now Gambia, you bugan it. Bugan it, bugan it, bugan it. But you can see it, you can see it. You can see it, you can see it, you Dia dengar, aktor dengar, masalah cikgu cikgu nama mereka. Bukan yang ni, bukan yang gan, bukan yang dom ada mah. Fongkan yang sen bapa, fongkan yang sen deka, fongkan yang sen judu hitam. Nahli, boleh deh mereka tu kebeda dengan betim reo. Four muna fak ke gambian, lini kon fikir family ni mau fanek. So deh mereka betim reo. Lagi lagi ngatu mereka fengen tegoh hamle, dengan kod ef kombanyo. Lagi lagi tu mereka cipta gua hamil, dengan kau def kumbang jul, hamil lulu fon kasarewa, 
Gambia Buganen Gan. Buganen Nit, Bayala Tarangal Nafigan, Meno Kufi Wurzak, Bugan Gufinu, Jama Chico Jama. To Bark Kala Masala. The Gan Voko said Losa, the Gabuga Fork and the Gan Lake Gena Buga Kormo. The Buga Gan, Bole Sambo Kadara Aichi. New Yatal, Rect the Buffehe, the Buffati Dima. First of all, Ezone is an online international shopping and uh, shipping company. So we basically um, assist consumers here in the Gambia to make purchases of quality products and goods um, within the US, UK and Canada or anywhere around the world. And we have it uh, forwarded or shipped to the Gambia and we deliver to the doorsteps or place of business. As you know, here in the Gambia, um, majority of the population is on bank. Um, so we do have the technology, um, like mobile apps, etc., um, where we'll assist um, consumers and businesses here to purchase online from companies like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, uh, all the big tech companies or e-commerce platforms um, that do sell lovely products that's needed here in the Gambia. Um, we also have uh, Cafe Zola which is a New York style uh, cafe with an infusion of um, New York, Africa and the Caribbean, which was a big um, inspiration from Anne. Yeah, this is something that um, that I actually wanted to do in the U.S., but it was a little more cost prohibitive, you know, to to start there. But um, I've actually was able to make my dream come true, putting it here and having it really be appreciated and um, accepted. And I think it's like a really good place where everyone kind of mingles, right? It's not just, uh, it's not just returnees or um, visitors, but you know, a lot of locals as well. So apparently the Gambia chose us, we didn't choose the Gambia. Um, my wife and actually has been wanting to come uh, to Africa for neons. Um, but it was never on my radar, although I have traveled the world. Um, and she quickly sneaked a YouTube video um, into my inbox um, and picked my curiosity. And it worked. What we've seen on TV about Africa, not specifically the Gambia, um, well, malnourished kids with big tummies and flies um, in their eyes and mouths and so on and so forth, and the jungle fever. Um, well, this is what we um, portray in our heads about Africa. And when we came here, whoa, it was 360 degrees. Totally different. Yeah, but it was beautiful. Um, you know, everyone has that, or at least I can say in my circle, has, has had that, uh, that picture. And I don't know how it got there, but all of us have it, right? Of Africa just being this um, poor... Um, this poor place there where there's no homes and no cars and, and I'm like that's so ridiculous but um, the fact that we came we just we just came we just wanted to see right we knew that there was it was a beautiful place um, with lots of um, opportunities and let's just go see and have a look and as we got here it I don't know, like our eyes were opened. We had so many coincidences that happened here for us. Um, we met so many really good people here. And so, you know, instead of saying maybe we'll come back in two or three years, we wound up coming back in literally six months. Wow. Uh, I like that. I like that you can know your neighbors and um, people know you and you you know, as you're driving down the street. It was like when we first came and you saw that people were like, hey, driving in cars and they're like, hey. And then I'm kind of like, how do you know that person? How do you know that? But yeah. now that we're here, um, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> you know, like, oh, look, you know, that's someone we know. Like, oh, oh, look, you know, yeah. so it's 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 nice. It's yeah. um, it's a very nice feeling from the, the fact that it is small, you and know, it's peaceful and it is very peaceful very peaceful. I'd like to see Gambians helping, you know, Gambians develop Gambia, yeah. you know, um, and not necessarily from outsiders, not from outside help. Mm -hmm. um, just leave Gambia alone, Gambia alone for Gambians to help Gambians. I just had a knock. I'm going to go to the house. 
torop 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 yinyu do e defni tam ba hana de hala yange gor gorlo hala yange gor gorlo na kyosan amna nyom na nyum ko fi baye bete nga ko deme ne taf nyaay ko bon ko kyosan na te yaayam ko fon kon kyosan na fon ko kyosan fon kana ko fon ka ay bokam fatu barka la fon ka rewam na fon ka se rew pa se wut ni tukki ne he nga dem tukki ya nga be am la ma am ne li kat yalla bood bi me nama ko damay delu war fuma joge won suma fa joge be fa dara te duma tere tukki fatu barka la ma salla lolo begge se rew la ak bu ga se rew ak fon ka se rew lolo nak tu bar fakala def ligey bo xamne nak ñep gis nañ ci seen bop ndax dem ba yeb amon na de way yeb amuton amna yu amon way yeb amuton waaw way xale yi fi nek ak ñi melni mom ak ñi helaté mom mu ñak ka ñaan nga xamne ku def ndam sax mu jema def dara pour woné né def nga ndam set leen barka de mbarak kep satang jaw awot ba fa xew ki ligey ligeyam ba paré nga woné ligeyam lolo ko añaan mu ko def kon lolo ñu ngey ñaanal taf te ñaanal ñi melni mo there's actually a lot that we expats can learn um from the gambians here um as much as they can learn from us especially with the mere fact that they are so family oriented um you see a lot of gambians uh, living in compounds with their entire family grandma the aunts and the uncles and the brothers and the sisters and everybody just leave um together as one big family um while we expats um you know we we love our own space etc um and we focus on work 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 and not too much on family um and that is one thing um being here um um that we've learned um on how to be more family oriented and stick together as one so now imagine there's somebody sitting on a sofa it's february so it's a bit cold right yes, now yes. and they're sitting in america in europe wherever and yes. you know they're watching this video and they're thinking it's black history month and i really want to take back my power and mm -hmm. make this move what would you say to that person now I would say, you know, uh, many of us, and I'm speaking specifically to uh, Americans or Africans born in America because that's my experience. So it's not excluding anyone else. But to the ones that uh, identify with the struggle that we have in America, you know, we're waiting on the government to, you know, pay us our reparations, you know. And uh, for uh, my husband and I, we decided that we were going to take our independence back uh, and uh, bring our family. And we're creating our reparations here. And when the government decides to do right by all Africans and pay reparations, yes, we'll take it, but we're not waiting. And I would admonish anyone, anyone in the diaspora, uh, if you just, uh, I do uh, re, um, say that you should come and visit first and maybe visit a, a couple of different countries, but I'm telling you, Gambia, uh, I hear this, we have the safest water, some of the safest water here, and just the transition, yeah. being able to uh, relocate, because it's a cultural shock, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's a cultural shock. So I say come to Gambia and uh, try Gambia out and, you know, um, come back home. Don't, don't wait on anyone to continue to um, chart your waters or your story. You have to create your own narrative. Thank you so much. Yeah. And when you do decide to make that move, Taf Africa Global will make it easy for you. We have all the properties that you need to move into. We have a seamless process. And of course, we're online, so you can start having those conversations with us now. Taf Africa Global, we have a home here for you. And you know, people like Ami and I, we're here to welcome you yes. and make this a lovely place to live. So thank you again. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Hi, 
Uh, it's been a, a reflective episode, I must say. Um, it's really reinstilled what it means to be Gambian. Um, obviously, the smiling coast. So being Gambian means always having a smile in your heart, wear it on your shoulders, and then carry it on your face. <laughs> and also just, you know, there's so much history in the Gambia. We're a very small country, but we have so much to offer. Having recently returned home myself, I feel even more inspired. Should I say re-inspired? Just, I'm so glad I came home. And I guess the message I want to put out there to anybody who's like me, who's a Gambian, sitting on a sofa somewhere in Europe or America, it's freezing cold, and you're thinking, I want to make my way back home. What I will say to you is, make that move. And it starts today. It starts with you looking on the TAF Africa Global website for a property, because obviously relocation is a big move. And the biggest step could be your home, because obviously home is where the heart is. So if you have your home ready, it will make that transition easier. And that's what we're here for. We have all the property advice that we can give you in terms of moving to the Gambia. We've been doing this for 32 years, 33 years actually this year. So our CEO is passionate about affordable housing, not just in the Gambia, but just in Africa in general. If you're looking for a country that's peaceful and welcoming, start off in Gambia. You know, property prices are a lot cheaper than other places, believe it or not, they are. And it's good value for money, it's good return on investment. TAF Africa Global offers you is building your perfect home in a safe environment with a company that you can trust. You know, your money's not going to go astray. Exactly what you want is what we'll give you. And what's made it even better, this month we've introduced a 24-month payment plan, which means that if you're buying a property and you need two years to work on the return home, or if you're here already, but you need a bit more time, because obviously we need flexibility with buying a property, and that's what that offers you. 24 months payment plan we pay 25 percent down payment and you spread it across 24 months so that means if you're looking at a property that seems unaffordable look towards the future make the small steps now and in 24 months you could be in a TAF home we also have the Coringo app which means that there's an easy pay option so getting your funds from wherever you are to the Gambia couldn't be easier with TAF Africa Global because as a developer we don't just only look at the homes we build it's about the environment we create for our customers that means the purchasing process the settling in process and also the research you need so today was a bragging day for us as Gambians it's 58 years of independence we're very proud we're a small proud country we love visitors and we love visitors who make this their home and we say to you welcome to the Gambia come to the Gambia and enjoy the independence that we've experienced for 58 years so it's safe to say we have re-explored what it means to be Gambian on this episode we've looked at the meaning of a repat it's really important we know who repats are and their stories We've heard some of their stories. We've also heard from Uncle Taff, who was nine years old when we had Independence Day in 1965. And also the likes of Auntie Chu Ndai, don't you just love her? And her stories of the glory of Independence Day and who we are today, which is the same people that we tend to be, Gambians, happy, smiling coast. It's been a really, really good experience for me. I hope it has been for you too. For the Gambia, our homeland. We strive and work and pray. That all may live in unity. Freedom and peace in day. Let justice guide our actions. Towards the common good. And join our diverse people to prove man's brotherhood. We pledge our firm allegiance. Our promise we renew. Keep us, great God of nations.